Hello there guys and welcome to yet another uh, C, C tutorial here, programming tutorial. This, this is our ninth tutorial in the C programming um, series of tutorials. Today's tutorial will be about the while loop in C program in, in C language. So go ahead and create a new project. If you don't know how to do that, please refer to our previous tutorials. And if you haven't seen my other series of tutorials in CPP and um, Java and Visual Basic, and the Photoshop tutorials, please go ahead and do so when, once you get the chance. They're very informative. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, guys. It means a lot. And let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So, like always, let's go ahead and include the libraries we need to use. In our case, again, we only need the standard I.O. since it's a simple tutorial. Next, let's go into our main function here. And we'll keep this tutorial as short as possible. And to the point as possible. So let's go ahead and create an um, integer variable here, call it sum, and let's initialize it to zero. Also, let's declare another integer and call it um, user input, and another integer, and I'm going to call this one i, or and let's set this equal to one. Next, let's go ahead and type printf and ask the user enter the number of integers you would like to sum. And let's wait for the user's input. Let's type scanf and percent sign d and ampersand user input so we will store the user whatever the user inputs the number in there the integer in the user input variable okay so here we go now we go inside our while loop so we type while then we have our conditional here so we're gonna say while i is less than or equal to the user's input so user input open bracket close bracket and inside of here, we'll, so what, what we're gonna do is, is gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and find the sum. So if the user enters, let's say five, we're gonna add one to the sum, and then y will become two, so one plus two, one plus three, and so on. To do that is very simple. We can either, we can do it, um, the shortest way is to just type sum plus equals. Uh, and here we're gonna type i plus plus and semicolon okay let me go here and go, let me just type this out you don't have to type this line I'm typing here I'm gonna type this as a let's type as a comment but what this part here means sum plus equals what that really means well sum plus equals I what this means is sum equals sum plus I that's what it really means so it means Whatever the sum was before, so our sum is zero currently, so it's zero and i is one. So it's uh, zero plus one, so then the sum becomes one. So next term when we come in, uh, i will be incremented here. So if you remember from our previous tutorial, this increments after this line ex executed, so i is one. And then after this line executed, the sum becomes one, and i will become two. So once we come up here, then two is is less than if the user enter five is less than five so then it will be the, the sum will be one from our previous um, uh, execution of the of the of the body of the loop so this will become one so this becomes one plus two which becomes three and then so on so then it will become three plus three six and then six plus four it will become ten so okay so that's what we're doing there so so we'll be uh, summing everything up here and then down here is let's go ahead and print f and say the sum equals uh, I'm gonna put percent sign d here this is an integer and let's put a return character here also so we can have it make it look a little bit neater and let's type here sum and always don't forget to type return zero because that's important telling the main program that everything executed successfully all right, so we have the input here. We are calculating the sum and we're printing it out. So let's go ahead and do some. Let's go ahead and build it. And let's see what we get here. 
all right successfully let's go ahead and start with our debugging here all right so i want to sum five integers i'm gonna say five here let's see what we get so we get 15. all right let's check our answer here so i is one here to begin with and this is five so this becomes one plus zero which is one then i is two which becomes one plus two is three okay and then we have three here three plus three that's a uh, that's six and then this becomes six plus four it becomes ten and it becomes ten plus five when i is five and this is still true because five is greater than or equal to five so then it becomes fifteen and then i becomes six so is six le greater, uh, less than or equal to um to five no that's not true break out of the loop print out the sum equals 15 and then return 0 just like we have here alright guys so this was a quick tutorial um, going over the while loop next tutorial we'll go over the do while which is a little bit different than the while loop uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial thanks for watching if you haven't uh, seen my other tutorials please please go ahead and do so they're very informative and, and uh, hopefully you like them and please leave as many comments as possible uh, or send me a message uh, if, if you have any any ideas in particular or any tutorials you'd like me to make please uh, send me an email or leave a comment and I'll, and I'll try to make that if possible and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos so thank you for watching this and there will be more tutorials coming up thank you for watching